Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lisa and today we are going to be doing a first impressions of the Too Faced madness of products that were dropped on us on August 31st. That includes the Peaches and Cream collection, which is available at Sephora, and the I Want Candy collection, which is only available at Ulta. I didn't pick up everything from the Peaches and Cream collection, but I did get quite a few items. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. I have primed my face with the Too Faced Hangover, and then I've already done um, my eyelids with the Too Faced Shadow Insurance. So kind of, even though I didn't get everything from the collections, and I don't even think you can do really a full face with either collection, um, trying to use as many Too Faced products as I can here. So I did get the foundation. This is the Peach Perfect Foundation. I got the color Snow, which is the fairest color. Um, this only comes in 12 shades. I do believe that they're planning on expanding this line. This is just kind of the first release of everything. This is $36, but you do get um, 1.6 fluid ounces and most foundations are only one ounce. So you do get quite a bit more product in here. In comparison, the Born This Way foundation has a total of 24 shades. So it's definitely more shade inclusive than this one is, but like I said, maybe they're going to expand it in the future. So I'm gonna do half of my face with the Beauty Blender and I'm gonna do the other half of my face with the brush just to see how this one applies because I've never ever used it before. And I'm hoping this shade is gonna be right. So let's see. Hmm. It's definitely a little more yellow than I had expected. Or that's what it's looking like right now. It does smell. So the one of the things behind this collection is everything has a bit of a peachy scent. So if you do not like peaches, I don't think anything in this collection is really gonna speak to you. Um, or I don't even know if you have like a, an allergy towards them. I don't know if this would be a, be a good idea or not. Um, this is a comfort matte foundation. This is supposed to be their new comfort matte technology. It does say that it is a transfer resistant foundation and it provides medium coverage. So we're gonna see how that goes. I mean, I think the coverage on it is pretty good. It's definitely not a full coverage foundation. It's, I mean, so far it's not looking all that matte yet, but it probably has to dry down a little bit. So that, that's the side applied with the Beauty Blender. I mean, it's getting giving me pretty good coverage. I'm not really a full coverage foundation kind of person anyway, so I like a little bit of more of a buildable coverage. Let's try the brush. I think sometimes products go a little further with brushes, but I find that I don't just get that good of a blend with a brush and it tends to accentuate my pores when I use a brush. I'm not loving the brush on this one. Definitely got a way better uh, blend with the Beauty Blender, so I'm just gonna go back in, kind of touch this up with the Beauty Blender because I don't think the brush is the way to go on that one. I don't know what happened up here in my hairline. That is absolutely insane. It's even better when you have like white hair like this so then you end up with like orange hair up there. It's great. It's a good look. It's not. Okay, so now that's blended, we're gonna go in with a little bit of concealer. Um, neither of these lines had a concealer that came out. I'm, I'm actually kind of surprised that they introduced a foundation without a concealer to go with it. Um, but I do have the Born This Way concealer. This is in Very Fair. So I'm just gonna go in with this. Not exactly my favorite concealer, but not, it's not terrible. Down my nose with it too. The Peaches and Cream line did have a translucent setting powder, but I did not get that um, because I do already have the Born This Way setting powder. So I'm just going to use that to very, very, very lightly, lightly set my concealer under here. because we do have another powder um, actually from each of these lines that we're gonna look at. So now we're gonna move on to the finishing powders. Um, the Peaches and Cream came with this Peach Blur powder and then the Candy Johnson one has this Banana Pudding powder. 
So, and I'm pretty sure this is a terrible idea, but let's try it on one on each side. Um, the banana pudding one was interesting to me because it's yellow, which normally I would totally shy away from. This one has flecks of blue and pink and purple in it as well. So I'm wondering if that's gonna kind of diffuse the yellow we're gonna see. I'm a little scared of this one. But it was an interesting product. I don't, don't see a lot of products like this, so let's just try it out. I mean, I would only put it like really on probably this part of my face. That's typically where, you know, you would just throw a brightening powder. But Okay, it's not really reading yellow, so that's, that is good. I don't necessarily know that it's necessarily blurring much, but it actually is a pretty nice finish. It's a little bit of a different product. This one is just most supposed to smell like banana pudding. It doesn't smell like that to me at all. It just smells kind of faintly sweet. So not like a really strong banana scent. Um, and this one was $30 at Ulta. Okay, so now we have the peach blur powder. It's a translucent smoothing finishing powder infused with peach and sweet fig cream. So this one looks like this. You like that elbow move there? Um, and it does smell pretty much kind of like the foundation, but it's not, it's not really heavy. You don't like open it up and you know get knocked over by the scent. So we're just gonna take the brush and we're just gonna swirl it around on that guy. And now we're just gonna pop it over here. Oops. Sorry, Candy. I went onto your side. There we go. I mean, that, I, I feel like I see a tiny bit of peach in that, but nothing crazy. And I don't see anything like crazy, you know, yellow over here either. So, I mean, not bad. They're definitely, neither of them feel cakey though, which is one of my problems with powders because, you know, once you have fine lines and wrinkles, stuff just loves to just accumulate in there and just hang out and just kind of, you know, ruin your day in there. So both these powders are $30. Um, I don't know, they're kind of fun. They're, this one, this one's definitely a different product than what you see around. I mean, we do see banana powder. Um, it's typically not pressed. Um, and it, this one has the other colors in it, so maybe it kind of diffuses the yellow a little bit more. So that's kind of interesting. I don't ha I did not get the bronzer in the peach collection, and I did not get the highlight or the blush because um, they were like cream products, and I'm just not, not really my fave. So what I do have though is I have the Sweet Peach Glow from the old Sweet Peach collection. Cut a bronzer, a blush, and a highlight. So I'm just gonna go in with this and just kind of lightly do my face. I'm not gonna do anything too crazy, but just to get some color into my face. So now we're gonna move on to the eyeshadow palette. This was probably the, the thing that I was most excited about um, because it is all matte, and I've just been a little bit more into the matte shades lately. And I really actually like this packaging. It's it's heavier than a lot of the Too Faced packaging, I feel. It's got this nice, like, smooth, like, sealed top. I don't know, I just really like it. And the closure on this is nice, it's heavy. Um, and here are the colors. So it's all very matte. And I mean, it's definitely a more warm tone. So we're gonna see how it goes with my skin tone, but I just really thought it was pretty and it'd be nice for fall. And I just like that it had all mattes. In comparison, because I do have the Sweet Peach palette, this one had a lot more like shimmers and different um, types of finishes on the different shadows. So I feel like I didn't have enough mattes in this one, so now I have definitely more mattes. And this one was $49, and this one was $45. So this one has 12 shades, this one's like 18. I don't know, depends on what you're looking for. This one does also smell a little bit like peach, it's, but it's nothing that's just like out of control smell. It's not, it's not like hitting you in the face smell. Um, so I'm just gonna go in and just take one of these lighter shades. 
um, like this one just to kind of coat my lid because I just put the shadow insurance on and it doesn't have any um, color to it at all. So I just kind of need to cover up my veininess in my eyes. Just very, very quickly. Nothing, nothing crazy here. So I don't want to do too much on the eyes today. Uh, but I do kind of want to dip into some of these different shades and just see kind of how they blend and, you know, kind of the color payoff you get for them. So I'm just going to go in and use um, Peach Tea as a, just a transition shade just here in the crease and see what we can get out of it. I'm definitely getting color. It's definitely blending. Not getting I'm not getting any fallout on that shade um, let's see let's try let's deepen this up a little bit it's going with just ripe because I like cooler tones so let's try it out I'm just kind of deep in that crease do you ever feel like you have a better eye like eyeshadow just looks better on one of your eyes I don't know why, but mine is always my right eye. I feel like my eyeshadow always looks better on my right eye. It's very strange. I mean, they're definitely blending. I'm gonna go in with the one that I did my overall lid color and just kind of blend this all more together. So I don't have any Harsh lines. Pulling a little bit of that color out. Got a little dark on me. For just the edges, the outer corners, let's go in with this peach sangria. That one's, that one's an interesting color. I mean, it reminds me of a little something in the modern Renaissance palette, but I kind of like it. Gonna deep in that corner. Ooh, that one's pretty. Sometimes I'm worried about these darker shades and how it's gonna blend in. But that one, I really like that one. And I am not, I am not getting fallout at all with these. This is fantastic. Okay, I'm gonna go in and just um, lighten up my lid a little bit. I think I'll, ooh, let's do this one. Let's just get really colorful. <laughs> this just totally went a different direction. Oh, look, I got a Too Faced brush, too. Oh, wow, that's really cute. That's, I like that. That is, that is giving it some color. Oh my. Oh, it's kind of like a peachy sunset. I like it. Definitely not just a fall palette. I mean, this is that that color is really bright and beautiful. Wow, that totally took a different turn altogether. May come in. Let's see how many of these colors I can use in one eye look. May come in with this peach cobbler and just kind of like See if I can maybe work a little more brown into this because I've now I've got that kind of terracotta color. Oh, I should probably put my hair up next time. Okay, I'm actually really digging this. Just surprising. Because these are such warm, warm tones. But I'm gonna hit my brow bone with this peach meringue just really quick. Kind of clean that up a little bit. Um, and then because I totally neglected my lower lash line, I'm gonna go in with Just Ripe and just kind of line the bottom of my, my lower lash line here. 
just to give it a little bit of color, nothing crazy. I'm really, I'm actually really impressed with these shadows. I feel like these are my, maybe blending a little bit better than the Sweet Peach palette, but it could also be because these are all mattes, and so the formula is probably pretty similar in every shade. So I'm gonna do my liner and my brows and mascara off camera because I don't have anything new to show you in that. And then we'll be back to talk about the lips. Okay, so I did my brows and liner and mascara off camera. I did use the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara though. So I am trying to keep it as Too Faced as I possibly can. Um, so next we have the lips and I only have three different lip products. I did get one from the Peaches and Cream collection. This one is in the shade sex on the peach um i think the packaging is adorable and i love that it's got like a representation of the color on the top of the lip and then it's of course got the name of the bottom so no matter how you store it you know maybe you can see what color it is and this is just so cute because it's got the peaches embossed into the lipstick and it's got the little Too faced logo on the top as well this is a very um it's kind of a brownish nude peachy sort of thing. I think it's a really beautiful color um, and I feel I have a feeling these are going to feel very good on the lips. They're not going to be super drying. I did grab two from the candy collection. The These are the melted mattes. They only had melted mattes in this collection. They had four different shades. This is melted ice cream and this is freshly baked. I did read that this one is more of um, a shade that you would use in conjunction with other shades. So kind of to like ombre your lips because this one as you can see and I'm super fair. This one um would kind of not really even read well on me you'd have to be very very fair for this to look like a nude um so i definitely think this one's going to be a beautiful color though and these are both all the lips for both of these collections are 21 dollars. so i wanted to try this guy first because i feel like um i could probably wipe it off and get the matte one on <laughs> afterwards because that matte one probably is not going to come off after i put it on oh yeah these feel nice Oh, this feels good. Especially after years of wearing so much matte, this feels nice. Wow. I like that color. It looks really great with this whole look. That's just, it's beautiful and it feels good. It doesn't really smell like peaches. It smells a little like something, but it's nothing, nothing strong, but mm, it's very creamy, very pigmented, and it just feels nice on my lips. It doesn't feel like it's going to dry them out or anything like that. So now we're going to move on to the Melted Mattes from the Candy Collection. So let me just take this off. So I'm going to go in with Freshly Baked, and I'm going to guess this is just their typical Melted Matte formula. They smell good though. They smell sort of like candy. Maybe a little, very sweet, very sweet. I do like the original Melted Matte formula. I also like the Latex formula. I just, I kind of like Too Faced products a lot. That is also a pretty shade. I like that. So now is where it's gonna get tricky. So we're gonna try to put a little bit of this in the center of the lips and we're gonna see what happens. Otherwise, I just, I really like this shade and it's beautiful on its own. Okay, well, that actually did work in the middle of the lips. It didn't, it doesn't look really weird and I was kind of thinking it might look weird, especially sticking two matte products together like that. Um, but I like it and I, I actually like all the lips that I got, which a lot of times that does not work out for me. So now it's the last product that I have. I got the Peach Mist, the setting spray. This is $32, it's four ounces. Um, and that's the same price as four ounces of the um, Urban Decay All Nighter. This is a mattifying setting spray and it has this label on it. So I think they really want us to shake it because you're supposed to shake all your setting sprays, but the fact that they decided to really make that known, let's see, and I'm gonna spray it off first. Okay. Not like an aggressive punch you in the face spray. Let's see. It 
It smells nice. It's got a nice, of course, peach scent, but nothing, nothing too heavy. Um, yeah, that, that worked nicely. It didn't like splash anything on my face. Um, it feels good. It feels very hydrating. It just, just feels refreshing actually when a lot of them kind of don't. So I do like this. I think we'll see how it actually performs with the product, but Anyway, all in all, the Too Faced extravaganza that happened on August 31st, um, I mean, I'm kind of in for it. Uh, there's none of these products that I would want to return. I'm very happy with all of them so far. The foundation, I mean, I'm going to have to actually like wear that for a couple days, you know, use some different primers with it and different concealers and kind of see what I think about that. But it's very comfortable. I don't feel like I have, you know, a cakey face or anything like that. These uh, these different blurring powders, I think, are pretty cool. They're a good, you know, addition to my beauty arsenal. Um, so I'm actually, you know, I'm kind of interested to try this one out a little bit more and also to kind of see what it looks like in different lighting situations because I still kind of worry about the yellow undertone in this. But all in all, I'm very happy with this collection. I think the eyeshadows are fantastic. I'm very, very glad that I went for the palette because I was really thinking I was going to pass on basically all of this. But um, I'm actually really, really I'm actually really happy with my purchases. So <laughs> I know that they said they're going to expand it in the future, which I think that would be great to expand more shades in, especially in the foundation line, because I don't believe I don't believe it's all inclusive. But um, I feel like after this, I'm kind of peached out, though, like I'm, I mean, you've done two peach collections now and you know, I've liked them both. I definitely like the peaches and cream collection better than the sweet peach collection, but yeah, I think I'm all peached out now. So, I mean, maybe we can move on to like, I don't know, maybe we'll do like strawberries. Maybe we'll do some grapes. How about a wine collection? That, that would speak to me. But anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed my video. Please let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. Oh, 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 oh,